Hey everyone, welcome to another video. You may already know that Head have brought out a line of rackets using its new Auxetic technology. The latest in the range is the Head Extreme, which I'm lucky enough to have got my hands on. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a first look at the racket, talk about its specs, and take it for a test run to tell you what I think about it. This one in particular is the MP. However, I will be talking about the Extreme Tour if that's a racket that interests you as well. Just before getting into it, I wanna thank you for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, my name's Ashley Neves and I run the Tennis Mentor YouTube and Instagram accounts providing content for players, coaches, and parents to get more out of the sport. However, if you've been on this channel before, welcome back. You'll already know that I already use a head racket. I use the Head Speed Pro. I use this racket for competition, but I also use the lighter version, the MP, for my coaching, as that's slightly more forgiving for hours of feeding and hitting lots and lots of tennis balls. You may have seen my last reviews on the Head Speed and the Head Boom. I was in a bit of a dilemma as to which one to choose for my next year's racket. Spoiler alert, I actually ended up choosing the Head Speed, and I'm gonna make a video comparing some of the other rackets in the head range later on. So if there are some rackets that you'd like to see me comparing, let me know in the comments below. Believe it or not, I've actually never played with the Extreme Range, or even a spin racket for that matter. The Head Extreme Range are classed as spin rackets due to its specs, which I'll talk about shortly. Generally, each brand of rackets has a spin range. For Babolat, it's the Pure Aero, and for Yonex, it's the V-Core range, for example. But the fact that I've never played with a spin racket made me super excited to give this a go. Anyway, you're here to see the Head Extreme, so let's take a look at it. As you can see straight away, it's got some pretty striking colors. This colorway of having this kind of fluorescent lime, yellowy green color um, has been popular in the Extreme range for a number of years. Actually, Richard Gasquet was one of the first players that I saw using the Extreme rackets. And nowadays you've got players like Matteo Berrettini using this colorway. I didn't really like the colorway of the last head extreme. It was this yellow color along with gray. I actually preferred the range before, which was yellow and black and I really liked the Night Edition. But I must say that I'm a bigger fan of this colorway. Don't know if you can see here, but this is quite a muted green color. And I was actually sent this along with a nice duffel bag with the same color, which I actually really, really like. If you know me, I'm not usually a fan of bright colors. Usually I dress in black, and when I can, I opt for blackout editions of rackets, hence really liking the colorways of the speed range. However, when I look back at the footage of me playing with this racket, I actually really liked it. Although it's got really funky colors, it's actually done quite stylishly. So head, you got away with it. Looking at the specs of this racket, as I said, this is the MP version. This one is a 300 gram racket, whereas the Tour comes in at 305 grams. I'm used to the Head Speed Pro, which is 310 grams, so this is slightly more similar to the Speed MP, which I use for coaching. It's got a 100 square inch head versus the Tour's 98 square inch head. Both of the extreme frames have a 16 by 19 string pattern being fairly open, which is one of the reasons why they're suited to being spin rackets. The more open your string pattern is, or the further apart your strings are, the more spin potential you have. I will say though, if you had the previous Extreme MP, this string pattern is slightly more closed or slightly more dense, meaning that you should feel more control than the previous version. Feedback from the last Extreme range was that sometimes the string bed was slightly lacking control. We'll talk about it shortly, but this definitely isn't. When looking at the beam of the racket, you'll notice that it's quite thick. It starts off at 23 millimeters, it goes up to 26 millimeters and then back down to 22. This helps to give the racket a little bit more stability through the string bed. What you'll also notice when you're looking at the beam is the shape of the frame. You can see here that it's a slightly triangular shape. You'll notice this shape when you look at other spin rackets like the Babolat Pure Aero. The final thing with regards to specs that we'll look at before we get into the play test is the Auxetic technology. And if you've watched my previous racket reviews, you'll know that I was a big fan of the Auxetic technology in the speed. In fact, since posting that video, I've used the head speed tons more, and I've grown to love the Auxetic feel even more. Now, I obviously can't compare how the Auxetic technology feels in the extreme compared to the old frame. However, if it makes any difference like it has with the speed, I think you're gonna love it. For me, it was only a subtle difference when I first tried it, but after getting used to it, when I went back to my old speed, you could feel a massive difference. The Auxetic feel is slightly more plush, so it's definitely an improvement on the old frames. So let's take a look at what happened when I took it onto court. As I mentioned, when Head sent me this racket, they sent it along with a really nice duffel bag, and here it is. 
I've used the head duffel bags for about a year now and I actually prefer them a lot more to the racket bags. They're a lot more spacious and you can actually change the compartments within it, making them great for traveling as well as tennis. As you can see here in these clips, my first hit with the Extreme was with my slinger bag. However, since filming this, I've actually hit with it a few times with human beings. So I could really get to grips with how the racket felt while I'm hitting, just want to say a big thanks for watching this video and an even bigger thanks if you've subscribed to the channel. If you have, be sure to hit that notification bell as I know that less than 10% of you actually receive notifications when my videos go live. So what were my initial thoughts of the racket? Well, first of all, it was a lot easier to pick up and play with than I thought it would be. Straight away, I could feel some easy power. The MP sits at 500 on head CPI scale, which is the control power index. That's bang in the middle. I'm actually used to playing with the head speed, which is slightly more control oriented. So realistically, the extreme tour would be slightly closer to what I'm used to. However, I did enjoy that extra power that I got with this MP version. Initially, it was actually too much power. I felt like I was hitting too many balls long, but that's because I'm quite a flat hitter. And as soon as I started to put more topspin on the ball, I found that I couldn't miss. What was nice about this racket compared to my speed racket was when I try to put more spin on the ball with my speed, the ball tends to drop shorter. Whereas with this racket, because it's more powerful and it helps to provide spin, when I was ripping up on the ball, the ball was staying deep. I'll be really interested to try the Extreme Tour as I think this will suit my game better. Having the slightly smaller head and a bit more weight might give me a bit more balance between the way that I'm playing with the Extreme MP and the way that I usually play with the head speed. So for you, if you're a spin player, I would say that you're probably gonna prefer the MP. And if that feels a little bit too light to you, you can always add weight to it. However, if you're a player like me that likes to hit slightly flatter, the Tour may suit you better. If you get a chance, I would definitely demo both. As you can see here, I hit loads of forehand loads of backhands. I didn't hit volleys with the slinger bag, but I did when I was playing with a hitting partner. My two favorite shots to hit with this racket were my heavy topspin forehand and my kick serve. Normally my kick serve isn't super effective, but using this, I definitely saw the ball kicking up a little bit higher and a bit more laterally as well. Overall, I think that Head have brought out a fantastic range of rackets. And if you've played with the Extreme MP before, I definitely think that they've brought some great improvements to the new version of it with the change in string pattern and the auxetic technology. However, if you use the Extreme Tour, there aren't quite so many differences. In fact, mainly it will be down to the auxetic technology. So if you're a player that's used Extreme Rackets before, I definitely think it's worth demoing these new ones if you can to give them a go. And even if you haven't played with the Extreme range like me, Give them a go because you might be surprised. So, as always, I've got a couple of pro tips for you as one of my loyal viewers that stayed to the end of the video. These tips are with regards to demoing rackets, which I've spoken about in this video. I really recommend that if you're gonna buy a new racket, try to find a retailer that provides a demo service. No matter what I tell you in my racket reviews, rackets really come down to preference. And so trying them out is vital. I have two tips for when demoing rackets. My first one is, if possible, see if you can get the retailer to string the racket up in the same strings that you're used to using. This can make a big difference to how the racket feels and you can get a direct comparison to what you're used to. Now, don't worry if you can't. My second tip is to make sure that you give the racket a chance. I see loads of players demoing a racket and trying it for just one hitting session. Now, with one hitting session, it's gonna feel so different to what you're used to, you might love it or hate it straight away. Now, neither of those things are good. If you love it straight away, it might just be a honeymoon period. And once you really get used to it, you might not actually like it as much as you did in that first hit. Equally, if you hate it after the first hit, you haven't really given it enough chance to find out if you like it or not. Most demo services let you use the racket for a week or maybe even two. So try to get in as many hits as you can during that period to see how you get on with the racket. If the strings are different to what you're used to, hitting with it twice or three times, you'll get used to them and you can end up really seeing if you like the racket or not. So a massive thank you for watching the video all the way through to the end. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up button and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care.